Hi guys, welcome to another video from Input Plus. Today's video is an upgrade video. Um, needed a pair of uh, DDR4 uh, memory modules. So I went hunting for um, bargain price ones because uh, I've noticed the prices were really, are really, really low on uh, DDR4 nowadays. So I scouted some for my, um, for my replacement and I found some DDR4 3200s for 50 Canadian. It's a T4 Vulcan Z um, 3200 uh, DDR4 memory. And like I said, 50 Canadian dollars. You can't beat that. Um, I've had my, the memory that I'm replacing, I've had it for like uh, three years. It's a DDR4 HyperX DDR4 2666 that I've clocked up to 2933. It, they're very reliable. Uh, don't get me wrong, but at that price, to get 3200s, I wasn't going to uh, let it go. So, uh, as you can see from the packaging, uh, very simple. And uh, I, did, I didn't get the RGB version because that would have added to the cost. And the uh, only ones available for RGB were of a higher spec. So I was a little skeptical about the compatibility because I have a, um, an ASRock B450M Pro 4 and I wanted it to, you know, run quite stable and reliable at 3200. So um, that's why I opted for these um, memory modules because I know that uh, uh, I've seen it in the uh, ASRock website as being compatible with my motherboard. So that's why I went with it, okay? Um, so what I'll do is, uh, stick it in the, uh, in the, uh, my PC and, uh, we'll come up with some, uh, hopefully it runs, Ho we'll come up with some benchmarks, uh, to see the difference between, I've run the, the benchmarks for the, uh, for the older memory. So we'll compare it with the new ones. Be right back. Hey guys, so there you have it. Um, pretty good upgrade, I think, for fifty dollars. Um, as um, you saw in the uh, in the clips for the benchmarks, um, Cinebench R15 negligible. Uh, the difference between the two CPU Z for single core, there's quite a bit of a difference there. Multi core, you know, pretty it it, it was equal. Uh, I, I Ida 64. Uh, there's a difference of 4,000 megabytes per second and latency of about um, 5 nanoseconds. So that's, that's, that's a good jump, I guess. Um, and for user benchmark, multi-core, 3 gigabytes per second difference. Single core, about 3 gigabytes per second difference. And the latency, again, a 5 nanosecond difference. So... All in all, a good upgrade, but because I really needed another pair of modules. So that's why I spent the 50 bucks. And um, don't forget that I'm running it with an R5, Ryzen 5 1600. That's been overclocked to 4 gigahertz. So I guess based on the CPU, I'm quite limited as far as uh, overclocking options or going past 3200 megahertz. Um, mind you, the specs for my motherboard at 3200 megahertz, it's already in overclock mode. So technically I'm already overclocking the, uh, the, um, the memory because the, um, 
uh, the chips are rated for 2400 megahertz and then the XMP profile is at 3200 megahertz at uh, timings of 16, 20, 20, 20, 40. So, you know, uh, if when I replace the CPU, then maybe I will have the opportunity to go past the 3200 megahertz clock. But other than that, again, for the price and the boost in, uh, slight boost in performance, uh, I'll take it. If you like this video, please click on like. Hopefully it helped you in, in any way. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to Input Plus, please do so. It'll help the channel immensely and uh, get me going to uh, give you more tech videos. Until then, guys. Bye.